That's going to be a, a big priority, and uh, we saw how that worked out last year. We got after him a little bit, and uh, we had some success there. So we're going to see what we can do against them. Um, I know our D-line's pretty hungry, so we'll get after it. Can you ever, with any quarterback you're facing as a defense, read anything in their body language or how they're handling themselves on the field or maybe – how they walk to the sideline. Just can you ever tell when you're getting to a guy? Yeah, that's a big deal. And a good example was Virginia Tech when we were hitting their quarterback. He was getting up and, you know, he was getting up slow sometimes, but he was getting up and running right back to the line of scrimmage. So that's one of those things where you're like, all right, we got a tough guy, so we're going to be in for one. But uh, there'll be other instances where a guy gets up slow and, and he just puts his head down or he's walking off to the sideline or hollering at some of his guys where you know you got in his head and you're like, all right, we got this one, let's go. So that's a big deal. How much uh, has Coach Fickle in your room pushed the twos, pushed the younger guys to try to be ready uh, to play if needed and to rotate in there? We're grinding them right now. And, uh, you know, Coach Fickle wants to rotate guys so we can be fresh. And we've got this uh, stretch run that we're in right now. And so we're getting after guys. We're trying to get guys as many rips as possible. And we're taking drill work really seriously. Um, that's the time where we can develop guys. And then being in the meeting room, making sure that the young guys are understanding our concepts is a big deal for us too. Josh, when you turn on the film and watch your position group, what do you see, what's different about one Raekwon's in, in the game? Um, Raekwon, just, he provides a lot of energy for us. And I don't know if there's too much different between him and Kurt. And I think that they're both really good players. But, um, you know, Raekwon, he's, he's a little energy ball and he gets after it. Um, the same goes with Curtis, and he comes in the game, and I know he's got a lot of passion, and so that's one thing that we can all feed off of when they're both in the game. What have you seen that Rick Juan definitely still needs to improve on, though, uh, Joshua? Uh, he's just a young player, so um, the stuff that comes along with that, just the situations and, and all the kind of things that young players don't have experience with. Mm -hmm. Like recognizing, I mean, different plays, different fronts. I mean, what, I mean, what? give me an example. You know, just being in there on game day, um, being adaptable, uh, maybe recognizing some of the down in situation things and he's a very mature aware player but um, mm -hmm. at the same time when you're a young guy sometimes those things get away from you a little bit. Joshua, uh, when your coaches scout the opponent, the upcoming opponent, how much does stats play a part in that? Like will you find out how much Christian Hackenberg has been sacked this year? Um, though, I mean those things turn up eventually and guys in the room sometimes go out and find those on their own. Um, we just look at a lot of personnel things. Um, how many times plays come up. Down and distance is a big thing for us. Those type of stats uh, aren't necessarily as important to us because we know some teams will try to attack us in different ways and maybe do some things to slow us down. Um, but when you see those numbers, they also give you a little energy too. You faced some good quarterbacks this year. You've got Akeel, obviously. Um, where does Hackenberg kind of stack up well, among the guys you faced? Uh, he's a really good quarterback. Um, he's, he's up there at the top, and he's done a pretty good job, especially – um, you know, being a young player, stepping in there when he had to uh, and taking the reins of the team. And I know that their coach and their team has a lot of confidence in him. So, um, you know, he'll he'll be a challenge that we face right there, just the fact that he can drop back and do some of the things and take control of the game the way he does. Josh, what are, you, what are, you, what are your impressions of Coach Johnson? You know, obviously he was at Penn State for 18 years. and I don't know, how, how special do you think this is in some respects for him going back there after all that? Well, I know this is a special game for him, and he's talked about it just a little bit already. But he's a very passionate guy who, who cares a lot about his players, and he gets after those guys. And some of the improvement I've seen from some of the players in terms of the way they play, but also their attitude and their approach to the game is amazing. And Coach Vrabel did a really good job getting after guys and doing that whole thing. But I think some of the guys took to Coach Johnson really well. What, what, what has he said about this being special to him? Just because he was there for so long? Yeah, just, what, you know, just just the, the the tie that he had to the school, and it'll be his first time going back since, and it'll be a whiteout and big crowd and all that. So I know he's hyped up for it. Yeah, you know, I asked him if he'd ever seen the opposing locker room, and he said no. <laughs> and you know, you, you've been there. I mean, what do you think it would be like for him to walk that gauntlet? You know, you were there, right? Yeah, yeah. it was it was interesting, and you got all the the fans there shaking the fence and and doing what they do, and the guys are all hyped up, ready to go. So it'll be interesting to see him in that, in that, uh, in that arena there going after it. But I know he's got a lot of care for the guys, so he'll coach his, he'll coach his behind off. You think they'll treat him as a former uh, coach at Penn State or treat him like one of you guys, I mean, as he walks that gauntlet? <laughs> Probably like one of us now. <laughs> yeah.
Josh, the way you guys have been blowing people out the last few weeks, I know a lot of fans and people across college football kind of just want to skip all the way to the Michigan State game. Do you guys talk about that at all, and how do you kind of keep the focus? Uh, we keep the focus because, like I've said before, we've got young guys who are hungry. And they've got something to prove, so they want to play in every game and every situation to take advantage of it. And then our older guys are mature enough that we know that you can't overlook any games and you can't take winning for granted. So I was talking to Mike Bennett earlier today, and he was saying that he likes the guys that we have because our guys know that we're good and we're confident, but we're not so cocky that we're going to overlook anybody or want to skip ahead to any any games or anything. So um, I think that the makeup that we have right now is really good for us to be able to continue to be successful but not overlook anything. When you guys won by 39 uh, last week, you've blown out into your last four teams, and yet Urban Meyer is very, seems like he's putting the hammer to you guys a little bit. Yeah. Um, we all know that we're not as good as we could be right now. And that's the kind of interesting thing is we've been playing really well and we've been beating teams by a lot, but we've still got a way to go in offense, defense, and kicking games. So um, I think that's what he's excited about and that's why he's grinding us so hard. And then I think that's what our leaders also recognize and that's why we're grinding so hard. Joshua, when you are a, a veteran starter, if the coach does like rotate in a younger guy for a series for, at any position, mm -hmm. are you guys like, oh, you know, like, like, I don't want to come out. Why am I coming out? Or do you, do guys understand or if you try to stay fresh for the end of the year? Like um, we see it a lot of different ways. I know guys want to be fresh for the end of the year, but we also want as many reps as we can get in the game. But I think one thing that we see here, and I think I've said this before, is that a lot of us get really excited to see other guys go in the game and make plays. And I'll get more excited for a young guy or one of my you know guys in the unit room making a play than I'll get when I make a play myself. So I think that's something we have on this team is that we're we're selfless guys and we want to see other guys succeed. Um, you know, reps are very important. They're very valuable, and you never know when you'll get the next one. But at the same time, we know that we've got a lot of guys who can play, and it's competitive around here. So we take advantage of that.